Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to part four of the 75 million Patriot March on Washington, D.C. I had to show you some more beauty from the road here. I love it after it rains a lot. All these uh, side runoffs are like that. They're... It's I can't wait to show you guys the... Uh, the, the uh, Yakagani River bike trail, like I told you guys, uh, I was uh, spit on a few times in my second year of walking for the troops. That was the year that the, uh, they were really dividing us between the Republicans and Democrats. They, they were really, the divide was really, that was 2007, it was just, uh, it was just crazy. But like I was saying, we're we're really united now. And everybody, thanks to Alex Jones, Michael Savage, Glenn Beck, you know, uh, a lot of other small uh, talk shows that have been you know, getting the truth out there. People are just, we know. We know what's going on. We have no government. It's basically... Uh, the elite powers of the world are, have been running our, our government and everything that's been going on in this country for a long, long time. And we're, t we're done. It's time to either, like I told Mr. Kritz, uh, my congressman, time to be a man, time to be a patriot. It's time to fire Janet Napolitano. I said, if you want to be a hero, or do you want to be a wimp? Do you want to be a do you want to be a hero of this information revolution that's going on right now? The media, the media war for your soul, as I call it, the information revolution that's going on. I say the time to be a hero is now. If you stand up to be a hero and start listening to what your people tell you, we need to go on instead of going along with the Clinton plan and. And the Obama plan and all the czar plans. Now, scrap those plans. Time to listen to we the people and be American. We can still save this country. It's taken them all these years to try to rip us down. And they had to do what they did to the Gulf of Mexico to just destroy our economy. Because uh, our tourist business and, and our fishing industry and uh, everything that goes on along the Gulf of Mexico that was that was holding us up and they tried to rip us down and we're still floating no matter what they try to do they they're having a hard time bringing America down because this is the greatest country that it was ever founded our founding fathers did a great job so it's time for us to be the founding fathers of a new move, freedom movement it's time for that march on Washington DC and I was thinking what made me think of this well, like I said, you know, like 80 some percent of those people that <laughs> said Obama must go, it was amazing. It was like, like I said, it was up to almost 11,000 comments by 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning already on Sunday morning. And it was, <laughs> it was, the liberals couldn't hold us back, the libertards. They, 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 they you guys, I'm sorry, liberals, you gotta swallow the pill of truth, the bomb. They were trying to defend him. One guy had like six pathetic things that Obama did that made him a great president. <laughs> it was just, it was like, uh, it was terrible. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. But anyways, what made, what made me think of this was of course last week talking about the Motown party they were having while the world burns and we got pirates, you know. We can't even we can't even blow up a a little motorboat of pirates with our the greatest navy that ever hit the oceans. You know, it's time, my friends. This is sick. This is sick. I want to wake up to American Navy destroys Somali town full of pirates. You know, just and then they won't attack us again. We're weak. Obama's showing weakness. And, and, he, and he doesn't, he's doing it on purpose, man. The guy knows what he's doing, he's not stupid. But, but I was thinking, 
why waste because i was going to go to wisconsin i was going to go to new jersey and help the patriots fight what's going on like i said hey guys we're with you but we patriots out here must march on washington to just go right to the head of the snake because that's the problem washington dc is where it's at man we got to go down there now the, the time to march is now and we should make it i'm telling you that sunday the sunday of the week they passed the slave care bill obama slave care that's when we should go that's the perfect week to go it'll probably be as nice as it was that whole week i was down there it was weather just like this i was blessed because i lost my van and uh, i only had the clothes i had when i went to the first tea party on tuesday of that first week it took me a week to find my van you got to read that it's a great article about uh the lost patriot and the battle on capitol hill it's about the uh obama slave care bill what happened that whole week it was so cool i got to know the you know i'm i take my hat off to the security of our you know of our capital there's those guys are just doing their job they're great and i wanted them to not feel like i was you know some kind of you know they got their guard up for anything suspicious and here's a guy carrying a flag all the time you know and jan napolitano telling them that i'm the, the enemy so i told him hey guys i was just down here for the tea party i can't find my van so you know all week they got something they'd even ask me terry did you find your van because i handed my fly i gave him my flyers and everything that i always carried with me and he's like no i didn't find my van yet and then the one the one conversation i'll never forget because it came true because i heard on the news at my hotel and even the hotel that i stayed at they gave me a really good price because they they felt everybody felt so bad for me i was sad <laughs> i mean i was happy i was getting the miles in every day walking but but uh i heard on the news that uh michelle bachman had told people to come down to fight and uh on friday the guy one of the security guys go here you might get some reinforcements tomorrow I said, yep, I think it's going to be a lot. And sure enough, 75,000 patriots on the drop of a hat showed up in Washington, D.C. for one of the greatest peaceful battles for freedom in the history of the world. And like I said, there are people from these riots in Egypt and stuff. They said what I've told you guys, the... Uh, us Tea Party Patriots have inspired patriots all around the world. It is the American patriot that's, that we're leading the way, trailblazing the way for freedom. Let's keep it up. Let's do this. Let's go to Washington, D.C. 25 million patriot march on Washington, D.C. On the weekend, they passed the slave care bill. I'll see you in the next part of this great video.